Hey guys, we're getting ready to do a brand new craft pack with you guys. So follow along and we'll show you how to do each project with the two of us. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Which one are we going to start with today? Um, let's start with the Light of the Night UV DTF decal projects. And let's start with the sign. All right, let's, let's do it. That sounds good. All right, so in your pack, you should have received a wood sign. How cute. Cut and by our little production team. Yes! They did such a good job. <laughs> and a piece of twine, as well as a brand new bottle of chalk paint. This pack comes with the color gray. We're not gonna send you this We're one. We're not gonna send you this one. I mean, unless you would like <laughs> us to send you this one, but it's been well loved. You'll get a brand new yes. one. Brand new, brand new. Yes. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we are going to have to coat our wood blank twice with very thin layers of the paint. How long do we let it dry? You really want to let each layer dry for about 24 hours before proceeding to the next one. Great tip, because yes. you know me, I want to just brush right, it. Just do, do it. it. Quick, too fast. <laughs> so 24 hours between each layer, and you suggest mm -hmm. two layers. Yes, two layers. All right. So you could do more if you want, or less. It's your choice, it's your project. These are just our little guidelines. Yes. All right, Katie. All so right. let's get started. So actually, let me grab a little piece of paper. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the um, decal while you're doing that. And I do believe that we're going to be using this land of the free with the Statue yes. of Liberty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that guy out. She's gonna look so good on this. All right, so I have a wider like sponge brush, but you can definitely use whatever brush is more comfortable for you. I really like this one because I can get larger strokes, but again, totally your preference. Right, a lot of times if you use a bristle brush with the chalk paint, you'll end up with more lines in your finish. So the sponge brush works really well. I've even used a rag at home. Oh yeah, so. yeah, I've seen that trick. I think I have only done that one time though. Uh, you know, whatever your preference is. All right, all right, let's see here. Just kind of going ahead and trimming the decal up to make sure it's kind of as even as possible with my cuts, which I don't cut very straight, so this should be interesting. <laughs> It should be fine. It's gonna be fine. So I see you're getting like a little few chunks in it. Like, you know, our paint is a little older. It you know, is. Yours is new, it, you shouldn't have that. You'll shake it up a little bit. But do you have any tips or tricks for like grabbing those little guys and getting them out? So you can use a pair of tweezers to get those out or usually what I have found really is a secondary coat of paint because, you know, then it kind of smooths everything mm -hmm. out. I like that little sweep method. I just yep. keep sweeping it to the side. <laughs> like when you go to sweep your kitchen and you're like, mm, I don't have a dust paint, I'll just sweep it under the rug. Exactly. By the <laughs> so, you know, sometimes that works. I don't know if it works for you. It's kind of my motto. All right, just a little bit more. And also, guys, the less the better because you can always add more. Oh, yes. But you can't take it away and, once it's on there. And the more you put on there, the longer your curing time for yes. that paint. Like if you put a great big thick coat on that, and you only let it sit for 24 hours, it may not dry all the way and you may have some issues. All right. Okay. So you've got it completely covered. Mm -hmm. And then we'll let it sit for 24 hours and we'll do a second coat. But just like in magical cooking shows. There's always one ready. We have one ready. <laughs> so we're gonna grab our one that is finished that we let sit overnight. And it is ready and dry for us to apply. Yes. All right. We both have our own methods here, you know. We do. Now, the wet method's not gonna work as well on no. the wood. So, I can show the hinge method. Go for it. You want? I think that would be perfect. I love the hinge method. You might check out my trimming situation there. Oh, you know, it's okay. It's gonna okay. be okay. Actually, I like that you left a little bit of extra over here because then I can place it easier and not actually adhere the UV DTF because once that's applied, it's yep. applied. It will not come back up. So, and remember you're working with something that's an adhesive with a paint on it. You can choose to like put a layer of Maker's Magic over top of this and let it dry you before can. applying this. Or you could do some Mod Podge. We're just gonna apply it directly to the paint. The one thing that can happen sometimes is when we go to peel it, it can give it a more distressed look to the paint, which we both really like. Love so that's what look. we've decided to do for our projects with you today. Yeah. 
All right, so we have just this little bit exposed, so that way it's going to just adhere just barely to the blank. And we're going to place it down. Look how well that just lines up. There we go. And then you just use your finger for the one side. Then we are going to flip it over, take our squeegee, get it started. Look, I'm gonna hold your blank for you. Is that okay? Yes. I'll be a helper. A <laughs> helper. And get it started. And then once you have it started, yep. it just kind of like rolls off. I feel like Michael in his videos called this like his steamrolling method. <gasps> steamrolling method, yeah. And I really yeah. <laughs> liked that in the last videos for the craft pack. He was like, I just steamroll it. Like, just you're just, steamroll it, exactly. I'm like, that's exactly what is happening. There, there we go. Are. Wow, look at that. So we're just gonna go in with the squeegee, get really good burnish on all the little pieces. And this piece is garbage, right? Yep. All right. The moment of truth. Dun, ta, da. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. So the nice thing bit. is you can just lay it back down and just squeegee a little more, burnish it. I always say squeegee instead of burnish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes like the pointier parts of a design can give you a little bit of a challenge, but like you saw, you can just lay it back down, yep. just comes right off. No problem at all. I really like this image with the gray paint behind it. Isn't it that really so makes it cool. Pop. Got it? Look, I'm like, I want to help and I don't know how. <laughs> I'm just here to. Harassing. Emotional support. <laughs> yes. Oh, how cool. And there we go. So now we can add some twine, um, which was included in your pack. Now, I am not the very best at knots for door hangers. So if you know a better way, absolutely. Do you know a better way to? I mean, you want me to have a go at it? Sure. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I should pitch I in. just do a a little tie and that's, that's what I I'm call thinking. it a day. <laughs> so my little tip for when you're doing your little piece of twine in a sign is you take a piece of tape, it can be scotch tape, duct tape, uh, packing tape, whatever you got laying around and we're gonna wrap the end of it because it starts to come unraveled. So I'm just gonna wrap it kind of like the end of a shoelace to give it yeah. that nice little bit of firmness to be able to feed it through without having any issues. Good idea. Just gonna take that and feed it through here. All right, then we're just gonna pull it through and I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Sounds good. And we're gonna feed it through. That side does not like me as well. Uh-oh. Here, Katie, would you, you like want me to try? try? Okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Look at you. You have better finger strength there than I go. do. Good job, Katie. Oh, now it's getting it through. Got it? It's almost there. We got it. All right. So you can either leave your tape and not knot it, or you could take off your tape and knot it. Look, we have a double-sided sign. We have it on both sides, guys. You will not. <laughs> Cut off your tape, and you have a little sign. There we go. Now, if you want to be fancy, you could even put a little knot here. Yeah. Or a little bow. Add a little, yeah, some little roses yep. or something. Whatever you want it to do. Yeah. Or if you have some extra ribbon laying around the house and you don't want to use twine, you can grab some ribbon and use it. Absolutely. That was a super easy project, Katie. Super easy. All right, let's go on to our next UVDTF project for this um, craft pack. What do you want to do? What do we want to do, Katie? Hmm. Let's do the mason jar. Mason jar, okay. Mm. All right. So on your gang sheet that you got for Light Up the Night as part of the Let Freedom Ring craft pack, you actually have two of these mugs. Mm -hmm. And so you have two wraps. So they're gonna both be applied the exact same way, but we're just gonna demonstrate one of them with you. Make sure you cut off your little end there. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> All right, I just automatically do it now. So the one thing I learned when we were testing these is I liked lining the middle piece up right here. It does kind of have a little seam, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, so there's a seam right here and you're able to just line it up right there and then wrap it and then it'll end up where you have the empty space where your handle goes. Unless you decide you wanna do something different. You do you, boo. So you wanna do it, you wanna do it. Doesn't matter me. I'll do it. Okay, you got it, you got it. I'll do it. All right, so I could be like Katie and do the hinge method, which I think is a good idea, well, but I like to lay the middle down first. Yes, same. So I think I'm just mm -hmm. gonna like, just go for it. Go for it. Mm -hmm. You could use the wet method for this. You could, yes. And what is the recipe again for the wet method, Katie? So the wet method is you just wanna take a spray bottle, fill it up with water, and then put just a couple of drops of like dish soap in it, shake it up really well, 
and then you can spray it onto the surface and the sticky side of the UV DTF decal and you can apply it that way. Use your squeegee to get all those bubbles out. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna hold this in my other hand to figure out where I'm wanting to lay this. I'm gonna look for the seam and I'm going to line up the star right here on that seam and start there. And then, you know, just pray really hard. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna give it just a nice little push here with my finger and then lay these down. Give it a few more little pushes. Pray a little more. <laughs> Do the same over here. And when I'm putting it down, I'm pulling on this to get it nice and flat for I'm not getting tons of bubbles. And then I'm just pushing up because it is tapered. It is, yes. Do you have any tricks when you've worked with this, Katie? Um, Just go slow. I personally really like to just go very slow. Don't get in any kind of rush. She's um, telling me to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you so nervous. <laughs> Am I making you nervous, Katie? Yes. That's okay, it's gonna be fine. All right, so the other little trick to this is if you get any bubbles when you're doing this, you can grab your pin pin, yes. poke with your pin pin before you take off the top layer and go ahead and get those out and just mm -hmm. push out the air. Don't be afraid of it, guys. It's just like when you're working with adhesive vinyl. It's just full color. Yeah, yeah. Don't be scared. Don't mind me, I promise mm -hmm. not to break the glass. I'm just gonna flip it the other way. I'm just, I really like how you're putting it on that squeegee there. Yeah, so like I'm laying it on the squeegee because it has a ridge in it and it will hold it still. And that's so why I'm putting the handle down the table just because it gives me a little more leverage with my burnishing. And it's hard when you have that handle in the way. It is. I was wondering how we were gonna use the squeegee because that's what I like to do with my cups is lay it on the squeegee mm -hmm. and then go that way. But with that handle, it's a yeah. little bit trickier. The first initial application of the front piece, mm -hmm. you really can't lay it on anything exactly. to be able to line it up. But once you do that, you can lay it down on your other squeegee. You can never have too many squeegees, too many pin pins, <laughs> or too many tweezers in your craft room. Really if you're like me and you have a habit of losing them. <laughs> me too, friend. All right. so. We've given it some love. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top layer, which is like a carrier sheet or your transfer tape, but it's all together. And like, I'm just being a little delicate with it because we've got some little stars and I don't wanna rip any. If you start to peel away and the pieces are coming with it, just lay it back down, burnish it a little bit more, and then you should be good to go. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so ready to fill that with sweet tea. So your cup will come with a lid. Mm -hmm. So you'll have the mason jar glass and then you'll have the lid. You will have to supply your own straw. Yes, BYOS, bring your own straw. <laughs> That's a whole different type <laughs> of bring your own that I've heard. You better patent that quickly, trade oh, that. Oh, I should, I should. And look at that. There we go. All done. So cute, I Adorable. love it. All ready for the 4th of July it or is. for the summer at the lake with a sweet tea or mm -hmm. a margarita. <laughs> you know, you never know. whatever you can put in I always there. go straight there. <laughs> okay, so we have one more project for this pack that is UV DTF. We do. Would you like to share what it is? I'm super excited. I'm about this so one. excited about these. So these are little mini treat toppers. They're so cute. They're made out of acrylic and they are so adorable. You're going to get two of each of the shapes. Two of these, mm -hmm. two of these, and two of these. And two of those. All right, so these are like a half circle. Mm -hmm. And then what are these guys called? I've been calling them marquee. Okay. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what I call them, a little marquee. And then I just feel like it's a little yeah, sign. Yeah, just a little sign. Yeah, it's cute. So these can go in your cupcakes. Yeah on a sheet cake. Mm -hmm. It could, like, if you're not wanting to make treats for the 4th of July, you could use them in your pots. I was gonna say, plants, yeah, little planters. To like, you know, mm -hmm. label stuff. You could use them in like a candy bar. Oh. And put like label the stuff in the candy bar, like in little dishes. Yeah. So lots of uses for these guys. Very I'm pumped about ideas. these. So do you want to do, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, oh 13 my of those size, sizes. We also mm -hmm. like have other um, images left that we don't even we have do. blanks for, which is a great thing with these craft packs. You get extra images that are already printed for you to do other projects with on your own. Yeah, so you can make even more tumblers, any more yep. pictures, anything All else you it. want. All the I good love stuff. it. All right, you want to do a lit? Yes. So we just want to do one of each shape? Yeah, let's just do one of each shape to show. Okay, so let's do this. Why don't we do one of each of these type of images? 
We can divide and conquer, I feel like, on these. I love it. All right, so whenever you get your acrylic blanks, they are going to have um, a layer of, what is it, craft paper? Mm -hmm. That's a brown um, paper. Just to protect your acrylic while it is in transit. That way it doesn't get scuffed up or anything. So I'm just going to remove the top layer. I like to Look only do one at a time. You're a pro. Because then I can see the back. <laughs> so I usually have to use a pin pen or tweezers to get mine off. So that might be a Katie okay. thing. Unless you have I'll them laying over there. I don't mind, they're over there somewhere. But I'm gonna grab that while you do okay. that one. <laughs> just because I feel like we may need these. Because I'm not a superhero crafter like you that can just like rip those off. I don't know off. about superhero. But look at you, you good? Yeah, I think right. I got it. All right, so you wanna do the lit one? Yes. I wanna what? put it on the circle. On the circle, okay. I'm gonna do this 4th of July one. I think I'm gonna put it on the marquee. The marquee? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, that's not scaring. Oh, is it fighting back? It's okay, it is. <laughs> See, I told you're not superhero. You're a All super right. crafter. <laughs> super crafter. So we just mm -hmm. removed mm -hmm. one side of our mm -hmm. paper. And one of the reasons we do that is because it'll protect the other side. Yes. Now with so many little images left, you can do both sides. You can, but it's the acrylic. Cr clear acrylic. It's the clear acrylic. So it will show through on the other side, unless you line it up perfectly. And I'm not that good personally. <laughs> so this time I'm not gonna use parchment paper or anything. I'm just gonna lay it on there. Because it's so tiny, I feel like this is gonna be the easiest method for me. Don't jinx yourself. Uh, yeah, I probably just did. And these are pretty easy to center because they are so small, they're easier to work with. So we're gonna do the same thing with this guy. Lay him down. And squeegee. <gasps> Look how cute. They're adorable. Look at that guy. He's so cute. I love. Adorable. All right, you wanna do the last one? Yep. All right. Let's do a little star. Yep. There we go. Awesome. So we've done the first three in this set and you have three more that are also included and you can change up. You don't have to do them all with the same image on the same, like, you know, this one doesn't right. both have to be yeah. lit. You can do whatever you want with them. So you have lots of options. So what all do we have? So we have our lovely little sign with the land of the free UV DTF decal. We have our lovely, we're gonna call our sweet tea jar ready for the lake with our 4th of July stars. And it comes with our lid that you just add a straw. And then we have our little tree toppers. Yep. Total of six little tree topper, yep. treat toppers, not tree toppers. Treat toppers. Treat toppers. Like I'm trying to get all of them in my hand. <laughs> yeah. All right here. And that's all of the projects for that with the UVDTF. Yep. For the light up the night.